A personal Kona moment I'll never forget. There, there's tons of them out there with athletes, but I, I gotta say, it's the very first time in 1991 when I told a buddy of mine, you are an Ironman coming down to Lee Drive. And he just like exploded, the crowd went nuts. And I thought, wow. And the reason I told him that was because he didn't think he could finish the race. And some reason I just said, you are an Ironman. And so then I did it for the next one and the next one and the crowds just kept going crazier and I think, I'm thinking, wow, I've got something here. So that's a special Kona moment because it's something that I was able to give and to this day still give the Ironman athletes when they finish. Great moment for me. My Kona moment that I will never ever forget, it's an easy one. Running down a Lee drive in the lead about to win the 2006 Ironman. I had goosebumps, I was crying, the crowd was going nuts, and unbelievable feeling. I think the one that I'll definitely never forget was uh, seeing my son at, at the finish line when I crossed the final one in 1995. He was not quite two years old, and uh, I knew it was the last Ironman that I was going to be doing, and it was the first one that he was alive to be there and see, so I just wanted to try to, you know, have a great race. and, and across the finish line and see him and I had a great race and there he was and it was awesome. All the wins I had were, were so memorable I will never forget them at, till the end of my life but also my accident was very memorable but pretty important was last year to show a good result after the accident that probably was the most important. Yep. The moment that stands out uh, to me the most is in 1978 when we did the very first Ironman I was at mile 22 and I was basically holding on to a guardrail, crawling along the ground, trying to make it to the finish line. And my support crew pulls alongside of me, and the van door opens up, and my parents had come to Hawaii to surprise me. Now you have to understand there were only 15 people doing this event. There was no support, and for them to find me, and then for them to see me in that condition, it was absolutely amazing. They gave me a hug and a kiss and told me they loved me, and it gave me the big boost that got me to the finish line. I guess crossing the finish line with my daughter, you know, quite a few times. Um, having my mom at the finish line the last three or four years, uh, she's she's been here. This will be her 28th time out here of the 30 times I've done it. So, the things related to family um, are the things that kind of stand out the most. My Kona moment is, I actually, even though I've seen about 20 of these races over in Kona and I've seen so much happen, Chris Lee stumble, Paula stumble, Sean Welch and Wendy Ingram crawling across the line, I think the one that really, the two that really stick in my mind is 1993 when Jim McLaren did a 1037 Ironman and then when Sarah Reinertsen, the year after she didn't make the bike cut off, she came back with unfinished business and she did finish the Ironman. To see those athletes across the line, that's really my Ironman moment.